Hello and welcome to Lily's Reading Nook. I am Lily and today is World Read Out Loud Day. So I'm reading all of my great-grandmother's great books. This is part four, um, which means this is the fourth book that she came out with. This is called There Are No Fireflies in Montana, which there aren't any fireflies in Montana, which is a very interesting fact. This is written by Nina Marie Clark, illustrated by Kathy Darty. Okay. Mommy, why are there no why, why are they called fireflies and why are there no fireflies in Montana? Well, I really don't know why they are not on fire and they're not a fly. When I hear that, I just shrug. When I was little, we called it a lightning bug. Here's a thought. Why don't you ask your dad? He knows a lot. Daddy, daddy, why are there no fireflies in Montana? Excuse me. Well, I think it's because the mountains are almost touched the sky. Those little bugs can't get over them. They can't fly up that high. Why don't you ask your grandpa? He might know they have them where he lives in Ohio. Grandpa, grandpa, why are there no fireflies in Montana? Well, I think it's because the Mississippi River is so wide, they couldn't get across it, even if they tried. You know, you could go ask your grandma if you don't think that is the reason why. She's in the kitchen baking us a pie. Grandma, Grandma, why are there no fireflies in Montana? Well, I think it's probably the wind. It blows so strong, even when some try, they get blown back out again. You could ask your big brother. You, you may learn something new. He could have a very different point of view. Big brother, big brother, why are there no fireflies in Montana? Well, I have given it some thought. Perhaps it's because the winters are so cold and the summers get so dry and hot. Thanks for your answers, but I think it's something else. So I'm just going so so I'm just going to put this book back upon the shelf. Wait, sissy, I think it's my turn to try. Please give me the book and I'll show you why. Okay, little brother, let's see if you are as smart as you think. And don't tell me it and don't tell me it's because of the way they blink. Well, the book makes it very clear why lightning bugs are not here. They only fly at night, and they were not put together right. That is why all their attempts fail. The lightning, the lights should have been put on their heads, not upon their tails. Oh, little brother, you know we think you're right. How in the world did you get so bright? Well, I knew the answer as soon as I took a look. It is amazing what you can learn when you open up a book. And that is the end. This book teaches you stuff, but it's in a fun way, I guess, because it makes you think. Um, like I said, this is the fourth book that came out. And if you guys want to get this for yourself or read it by yourself, you can find them at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, 
our website, which is a neatrepublishing.biz or most other online retailers. And that's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.